Welcome back to So Quickly. Thank you for joining in on the Only Phrase Podcast with your host, your boy, Only Frey, Frey Lee Phrase, the Freymeister, the French. <laughs> no, no, that was terrible. But, um, DC Part 2. So, I didn't want to seem like I'm a ho- I was a homeless man and sleep in the streets of DC because there is there's a lot of homeless people and it makes it makes me sad you know like seeing that many homeless people in the state capital it's like I don't know if it's because people are just too lazy to get a job or you know like they have there's a lot of people with it seemed like with a bunch of like mental issues too like But prayers and thoughts to all them out there with their problems and, you know, you know, I feel, I feel for them. I mean, I, I, I don't know. To me, it takes a lot of fucking balls and a lot of, like, a lot of vagina and a lot of to like actually ask for money like actually beg like people just stand there going uh oh. like it, if you if i if i came up to you I, I like i was in desperate need like i would have to end up have an explanation like hey my car broke down i need some money blah 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 like I, it it takes a lot for me personally i'm taking on my personal experience like to actually ask somebody for money like I don't like asking people for money. Unless it's my mom. But, um. I don't know. But anyway. So. I went and. St- oh my god. I went to almost every hotel slash motel in Washington, D.C. And every single one of them was booked. Because. They had a police convention and whatever that weekend. And also with the Roe vs. Wade um, abortion protest, which I will talk about here in a second. That was very cool to like actually witness and see. But um, I woke up the next morning. Well, finally found a hotel. Cheapest one I could find. Because, you know, I didn't I didn't want to drive out and then come back and worry about um, parking and this, that, and the other and, and the third. But um, I went to Arlington. Security, very thorough, very... But going to Ar- Arlington National Cemetery, it was very breathtaking. Like, I even made it to the um the unknown the unknown grave the unknown sh- soldier the unknown soldier and watching the um, I think they're marines I believe I uh, I think they are marines I'm not sure but I could be mistaken I am sorry do their uh, shift change and that was a very cool like ceremony to witness like that man's out there there's some there's a man out there 24 seven raining snowing hailing hurricane the man is out there like to me i think it's kind of like a kind of an odd thing but i understand the concept and the background and the history behind it and i and i totally respect that and i couldn't do, i couldn't do it to me, me personally, I couldn't do it. Like, I don't know how long the shift is. Like, but I'm that I'm just that's what I'm for future thinking. Like, I may maybe shitty of me, but I, I give props to that man, men that have to go out there and stand and do that. Um, Capitol Hill. 
um, state national the state capital under construction. I guess that's a usual thing. It's always under construction, but um, I made it up there before the protesters got up there because they were marching from uh, the Washington Monument in that park, and they marched all the way to the nation's capital. Um, I put it. I think it was on my Snapchat. I put it on my Snapchat. Um, seeing that many people, seeing that many men and women in all communities march through D.C. like that was insane. It was a first-time experience for me, but, I mean... We had a we had a podcast about I had a podcast about this before with Bella. We talked about abortion. I mean, the human body is the human is the person's body. Like this is my body. What I choose to do with it, it shouldn't matter to anybody else. I mean, there's misfortunes. I mean, okay, I'm I'm not going to get on the subject, but I'm going to say this: the people that are keep saying. That, oh, you can put the kid in a foster home, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, are you going to are you gonna go adopt them? Are you going to go adopt that child? Because if you're not, then I wouldn't add your two cents of saying, put it up in foster care. Because that's like abandonment. Like, that's my child. Like, I don't know. I can't speak for, for my, myself because I can't carry a child. But for the women that are, like, in a detrimental state of, like, you know, being raped or, you know, finding out, you know, the child would have problems where it could, like, either the child would die at birth or the mother could die by giving birth. Like, there's a lot of, it's a, it's a, it's a huge area to discuss, but. Anyway, I'm, I'm not talking politics or anything like that. I was just stating a little fact, a little opinion on my, on my personal believings. But um, yeah, it was pretty cool to see that protest. And then after that, um, where where did I go? Oh yeah, I saw I saw the other buildings. Like, oh my God, there's. Uh, so much I've walked so much these pa- this past week, two weeks or whatever, my knees and my feet are starting to hurt. I am I'm hurting. So yeah, it's been pretty pretty rough. But um after I left DC I was thinking of the next best place to go and <laughs> where else to go after DC to go straight to Gettysburg the battlefield area so i'm a uh, hmm i got time no i'm mm, excuse me but yeah i do have time after i left dc i went to gettysburg and set up camp there and chilled out for that night because you know it was late in the evening when i got there and just set up my tent camped out but the next day I spent the whole full day of walking and partial driving of Gettysburg Battlefield of the north side and the uh, the south side walking over the area where a lot of people died during the Civil War. It was very like you can you could just feel it in the air like you can feel it beneath your feet like the the eeriness of it lots and lots of monuments too i i will say that but it is a go to i it is a it was i didn't even think about it my stepdad called and said that i need to go check out gettysburg and i was like oh shit yeah i need to go do that so i thank him for that and f- breath like chilling experience like Knowing that hundreds of men and possibly women died in those fields 
that you can actually walk on and like travel and go see like they even have an auto tour where you just drive yourself and it you know all this but seeing all these like monuments and statues of a war that you know it's <laughs> north and south it was just, it was just mind-boggling and, and on the south side on the south end where the south was there's a like an old uh, f- fire watchtower you climb up <sighs> I was worn out after that but once you get to the top it gives you the whole view of the battlefield like it's insane and like there's also like a bunch and and when you do go read the little um his- historical monuments they have because there's a lot of things on there they don't teach you in school about like the people that live there and the actual things that happen they just tell you all the gory and all this and all that but they actually it <laughs> it breaks it down very detailed of the area of who lived here? Why'd they leave? Did they come back? And so forth, so forth. Highly recommend. I wasn't able to make it to any other places in Gettysburg. Because. Oh. Oh. Excuse me. But. Very, another highly recommended place. Um, I wanted to go to some of the microbreweries they have there. Didn't make it. Didn't make it in any of the taverns or bars. But. That it would probably be a go-to next time if I'm up in the area or my family decides to make a trip. Oh, if we if my family decides to make a trip after all this traveling I'm doing, you best believe I'm picking the location. Um, but so from I'm going to talk about the next part of Gettysburg, blah blah blah, in this, the next episode. So keep like, sharing, listening, watching, and tell everybody about this.